All right, so let's uh, focus on the uh, three major methodologies for the analysis. In particular, try to compare the new location against the prototype. And let's first work on hurdle analysis. Um, in the textbook, basically, hurdle analysis is about uh, how this uh, certain uh, variable, like a sales, changed by a certain amount to the make the new location's NPV uh, equal to the prototype's NPV. I mean, this is a quite long statement, but uh, when we uh, do such a thing, you will know. So um, let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. I have uh, hidden the uh, capital budgeting table so we can uh, use the space right here. All right, so basically, if I'm changing the new location uh, for sales, okay, let's say for sales. So if a sales is uh, 230, let's say, Will that make the NPV equal to the uh, prototype? Oh, that's a very good call. If you see, it's uh, quite close. The NPV is very close. So what about the 228? Well, that's uh, not that close anymore. So basically, um, I want to find the exact number of the sales. Uh, it used to be a 250, um, and uh, now sale needs to drop by a percentage in order to make the NPV of new location equal to the prototype. So how exactly can we reach that? So you are going to use a goal seek of an Excel. This is something we did before. Um, in goal seek, you're gonna hit the data tab and then do what if analysis and you see the goal seek here, all right? So what your goal is to make the NPV of the new location equals to the NPV of the prototype. So let's see, make these two equal to each other to the value of this uh, 70.46. The thing is, uh, you have to manually type in this uh, 76.46, the NPV of the uh, prototype, because uh, the GoSeq does not support to, to put a, a um, um, changing uh, variable there. And then uh, you are going to change the cell, and uh, by adjusting cells, the NPV here will be forced to a certain value. So by changing this cell, all right, and then hit OK. All right, as you can see, uh, if my uh, sales uh, of the new location change to this number, then uh, it will be, um, the two NPVs will be equal to each other, and also the IRRs will uh, hopefully be equal to each other. All right, let's uh, see if the IRR are the same. OK, not exactly. Um, so um, in the statement uh, for the hurdle analysis, you should say uh, if a sales decrease to a certain number, okay, and I want you to uh, manually type in this number, just to say copy, right, and then paste it, and then drag it down. If the sales change to uh, 230, then the, and also you need to calculate how much it changed by. So the original value is uh, 250, right? Is uh, 250. So it, you should use this uh, number, 230 uh, minus 250, the uh, given um, number, and then divided by 250 for sales. So that's a negative uh, 8%. So basically it's saying if the sales decrease by 8.1% um, change from 250 to uh, 230, then your um, NPV, then the NPV of the new location So that's a hurdle analysis to see how sales change uh, could uh, cause your NPV to change, all right? So basically, this 8.1% uh, is a buffer. Um, the, your sales can drop from 280 by 1%, 2%, or 5%, and still this new location is more desirable than 
the uh, prototype NPV. But if your sales change over 8%, let's say 10% or 15%, that's going to make your new location worse than the prototype. And you can also do the same thing for uh, IRR. Let's say if a sales change to certain value of IRR by certain percentage, then the new, just say new IRR will be equal to prototype IRR. All right, to answer that question, again, you just need to uh, uh, put uh, uh, this as the changing cell in the goal seek. So let's just do that thing. All right, what if analysis, go seek, and then you will need to uh, do this to this cell, uh, sorry, the IRR cell. Right now it's 18.84%, make it equal to uh, 0 0.1588. Remember, we need uh, a decimal point here by changing your cell. All right, and then hit OK. So uh, this is not exactly the uh, uh, the number we want. So let's just uh, do it again. Go seek. So by making this number equal to uh, 0 0.1588, and then by changing this new location. Okay. Well, perhaps that's the closest number we can get. Okay, so um, I want you to, again to um, uh, copy and paste this number. All right, so it's a solid number. You don't need to worry about the um, um, the format of it. So decrease the decimal, so 228. So again, you're gonna put uh, the percentage here, 228 minus 250 divided by 250. All right, so that's a negative 8.8%. Uh, 8 All right, now let me recoup my sales, and I want to do the hurdle analysis. This time I want to do it for uh, sales. Uh, this time I want to do it for construction. Let's say if construction changes to Oh, sorry, I should uh, say this is for the new sales. And uh, this is for the new sales, just to be more specific so you guys don't get uh, confused. All right, so let's do the hurdle analysis for the construction. If the new construction changes to certain amount, okay, by certain percentage, then the new NPV will be equal to the prototype NPV or equal to the old NPV. So right now, the new construction value is a 75, and uh, you want to change it uh, to a certain number, but uh, you don't want to change it to 100, of course. You want it to change to uh, to a degree that your NPV here would be the NPV of the prototype. And uh, then you perform a goal seek. So you want to make your new NPV equal to the prototype 76.46 by changing this uh, construction. All right, hit OK. Okay, so now you see the two NPVs match each other, and then you have this uh, 130, 113.9, just to copy and paste it here. Okay, oh, I don't need that decimal. And uh, the percentage is uh, this uh, 114 minus the original value of a 75 divided by 75. Okay, change by 51%, 52%. Okay, and then you can uh, do the same thing if the new construction change to the uh, certain value, okay, by a certain percentage, then the new IRR will be equal to the proto.
pipe IRR well at our best uh, estimate. So what is the value here? Um, again, put a go seek. the IRR here equals to uh, 15 point um, point one eight five eight eight by changing construction okay well I guess that's the best we can do so this is so uh, uh, one or two okay and uh, the percentage change here is uh, this 102 minus the original value, 75, and divided by 75. Okay. So that's the uh, certain percentage. So uh, this is basically telling us if the new construction increases, that's going to make the new location less desirable, of course. And this is the uh, exact amount of the increase could force the new location uh, equal to the prototype in the sense of uh, NPV, in the sense of IRR, respectively. Okay, for risk and opportunity analysis, um, it is uh, also uh, the sensitivity analysis. So uh, let me just uh, type it here, because that's my work zone. And once again, you see the real number changed from uh, 12 to 42 is not because I deleted those uh, uh, rows. Other than that, I just uh, simply hide them. If I hit this number two, my work zone would be uh, come up. Okay, so I just uh, prefer to not looking at those uh, rows. So again, risk and uh, opportunity analysis. So um, you need to uh, make this statement. So if sales change by certain amount, okay, then the uh, NPV or IRR will change to a certain amount of number. Okay, so you need to uh, uh, give some uh, percentage here and then get some uh, uh, result here. Okay, so uh, how exactly do you do that? Um, let me just uh, delete the, uh, um, well, I'm not going to delete it, so just to put it right here. I'm gonna put some uh, zeros because uh, I wanna I wanna analysis analyze the sales and the construction. So just put two zeros, and I want them to be a zero percentage, okay? But it's uh, the same. It's just a different format. Let's say uh, for the sales, um, I want the sales to be uh, connected to this percentage. So instead of making it a two fifty, I want to make it equal. Well, if I put an equal sign. I basically change it from a number to a formula. One plus this zero percent, an external number I just put in here. Okay, so if my uh, new location, this percentage change by, let's say, positive 10 percent, then you will see my sales change to 275 and my NPV and IR also get better. Okay, if I change it to a negative 10 percent, then this would get worse. And also, I'm going to do the same thing, make this a 75 back again. And uh, if this equals to 75 multiplied this uh, 0%, oh, plus 1, it's the same. OK, we need to uh, 7%, then my construction cost increases, and my NPV and IRR is uh, getting worse. OK. So I'm going to use a data table this time. It's still, it is a what-if analysis here. Uh, but before I do that uh, data table, I just want to set up certain uh, percentage changes. I say, what about if my sales change by negative uh, 20%, negative 10%, or positive 10%, or 20%, OK? And I want to find the corresponding NPV here. I need to uh, link the NPV down here. Okay, just don't type in the number, just to put an equal sign and link the cell. And then let's see, um, all I need to do here actually is uh, to select all of this. Okay, select all of this. And then um, I wanna do what if analysis, then data table. 
and then the input cell here uh, is uh, sales. So basically, I want to replace negative twenty percent to zero percent, and then record the new NPV here. How does Excel know it's going to be a new NPV? Because I put the uh, NPV right here. Okay, so it will Excel will see what this number would change if this number changed to negative twenty, uh, negative ten, and uh, so on. All right, and uh, all of this uh, output, all of this output are in rows, and also all of the inputs, okay, from negative twenty to positive twenty are also uh, placed in a row. So I should put this uh, zero percent as a row input instead of a column input. Okay, so these are the numbers I have. Just decrease the decimals. Okay. All right, and this is basically zero percent value. Okay, and uh, that's for sales. And you can also do the uh, IRR um, for sales. Okay, again, you put uh, all of this zero percent. Go to the IRR linkage, and then you just uh, do what if analysis again, data, what if analysis, and make it the row input. Okay, so these are your new IRRs. Okay, under different sales. Alrighty. And you can do the same thing with uh, the uh, uh, construction. So let's see if uh, you change the, let me just uh, copy and paste here. Okay, copy and paste here. So instead of uh, working on sales, I'm working on construction. Okay, all the numbers are still the same so and uh, I'm going to delete all the rows here okay this is for NPV and this is for IRR okay and then I do a what if analysis table so this is for construction with the NPV okay and then I do what if analysis again at a table this is for construction with IRR so I both uh, put a construction here alrighty so this is my sensitivity analysis so basically I can answer if my cell changed to or construction change to a uh, change by negative 20% then my NPV will change to 34 my RR will change to 11.8 if my construction change by a uh, positive 10% then my NPV will change to 99 and uh, the uh, IR will change to uh, 18% okay so the last uh, methodology we learn here is uh, variance to a prototype uh, it is actually the easiest um, so um, you just need to know if the sales uh, in the prototype analysis change from the prototype level to the new level then what would happen to the NPV uh, how much NPV would increase or decrease and how much change IRR would have so uh, let me just uh, hide this uh, zone um, so I can show you a little bit better so let me just hide it and then I zoom in, make it larger. So basically, you want to record two things. One is the prototype, just say prototype NPV. So you need to manually record it, um, just to type it in. Okay, just type it in. You can't, this time it's not to link, uh, just type it in. And uh, then you need to know what the new prototype NPV is yes you, you are working on this column and this column only you don't need to uh, look at the 
a new NPV anymore. I mean, the NPV for the new locations anymore, or even the new IRRs, just to look at the numbers here. Okay, so if the sales change from a 200 to 250, then that's your uh, new NPV, 156.98. All right, so, and then you can make the conclusion that uh, sales contribute how much variance? Uh, this much of errands, you're going to use uh, the new prototype NPV to the um, prototype NPV contribute this much to the variance of the prototype NPV. All right. And then you can also do the uh, prototype uh, IRR and also the new prototype IRR. So again, you can just record what the new IRR is. That's 23.33%. Uh, and then old IRR, make it back to 200, is 15.88%. Uh, then you can say uh, the sales contribute how much percent? Yes, that's uh, seven point four five percent to the variance of uh, Velto IR. Okay, and also you can uh, do the same thing for construction. So if uh, the construction changed to uh, seventy five, then your NPV has and IR has changed to this new level. That's definitely different than the previous level, 30, 76. So um, why don't you guys just uh, do it all by yourself and see if you guys would have the same answer with me. Um, and then basically that will conclude this uh, class.